you don't want to miss the last step when making cyanotype prints. Because doing this will transform your cyanotype print from something that looks like you've made it in your kitchen sink to a true art print. Let's get right into it. I've already prepared some exposed prints here. All that's left to do is to develop them in some tap water and then put them to dry. Now, no matter if you just hang the print over your sink or, or use a clothing rack or a development tray like I typically do, when they are dry they are probably gonna be nice prints but sometimes they are still going to be a bit wrinkly or deformed. And a small trick I want to share with you today is about removing those deformities, elevating the quality of your print just that bit more. All you need is a piece of fabric and a clothing iron. I start out by putting my print on the ironing board and then cover the print with the aforementioned piece of fabric. This will just give me some added protection and make sure that I don't accidentally burn the paper. After that, I iron the print like I do on a regular shirt. Now, depending on how wrinkly your print is and how delicate the paper is that you use, you might start on the medium setting and, if that's not enough, work your way up to the highest setting. If there are still some wrinkles left, you might even use some steam to get everything nice and flat. After doing that with all the prints I've prepared previously, I now have perfectly flat images that are perfect to use as postcards or gift cards. Prints that don't require to be put in a frame and still look astonishing. Now, I hope this small trick was useful and if you want to know more of these little tips and tricks, I just made a video about 5 cyanotype mistakes that you should definitely avoid, so you might want to check that out. And if you have any other questions, be sure to ask them in the comments. Until then, see you next video.